Final stop on the Bass Pro Tour and my final season, man. This year has flown by. It's Saginaw Bay, we're here in Michigan. I just can't believe it's already here. A seven-time Bassmaster Angler of the Year, four-time Classic Champion, and multi-time Major League Fishing Cup Champion. For me, fishing is my life. It's all I've ever known. It's all I've ever wanted to do. As we finish this week out and finish this tournament out, that's closing one door. <laughs> but I, I promise you, I'm super excited for the future. So it's championship day, and man, it all comes down to this. So. <sighs> Couldn't script it any better. It's like a movie, it's surreal. And just to be in that position, to be in this spot right now, it, it's what you want, you know? It's what you live for, it's what you work for, it's what you fight for. I'm gonna be bringing it to the end. The GOAT, the greatest of all time. Well, let's give it up for Kevin Van you're gonna get a live 25 time Bassmaster winner. Recently announced this will be his last year of competitive fishing. From Kalamazoo, Michigan, KVD, Kevin Van Dam. The GOAT, the greatest of all time, a seven time Bassmaster Angler of the Year, four time Classic Champion, and multi time Major League Fishing Cup Champion. Well, let's give it up for Kevin Van Dam. I can run, but I can't hide the feelings that I know. I can't keep bottled up inside. And all I want to know is, are you ready for the ride? What have I been waiting for? Oh, I can run, but I First day of practice here at Saginaw Bay, and man, it's, this year has just flown by. Nice to be able to finish up in my home state for sure, but man, it's just a lot to think and reflect on for just not only the year, but a lot of years. So it's really emotional, you know, to that point. But in other ways, man, I'm pretty excited about what I'm going to be able to do going forward. You know, I've done this a really long time, and I love what I do. So we're going to try to make the most of this week right here. It's pretty special to be able to finish up in my home state for sure. I wish I had a lot more history on Saginaw Bay, but uh, it's that's part of the cool thing of this event is it's unknown. You you know, there's, there's really not been, you know, a Bass Pro Tour event or a lead event or anything like that on Saginaw Bay. So, you know, I grew up as a kid fishing here and haven't fished here since. And it just tells you what a testament to how much great water we have in the state is to, to not have been over to Saginaw Bay. But you just basically go where the events bring you. And this week looks like we're going to have, you know, some up and down weather and wind and things like that. And that's always going to be a factor when you're on the Great Lakes. So. Just looking forward to uh, this week. I'm going to soak it all in and enjoy it. We're looking pretty good right now for heavy hitters and red crest for qualifying. So I know I got a couple of events that I'm going to get to fish next year for sure. But this one's going to be different and it's going to be special. You know, at this point, Man, I'm nervous, I'm excited, I'm anxious. You know, this is Saginaw Bay. It's, it, you wanna finish strong. You know, this whole season has flown by. Man, I wanna win. I wanna win on my final year. And, and Lake St. Clair was the place that I really had my expectations and hopes up and it didn't happen there, couldn't make it happen. So Saginaw Bay is it. I mean, it's all coming down to this. This is a place that makes me nervous. It's a tough fishery. It's large mouth, small mouth both, and it's not easy. It's, it's going to be a really challenging event. And I want to finish strong. You know, you want to go out on a high note, but mentally, I'm in a place where I thought about it, you know, this past week getting ready to come here. It's like, man, this is it. This is the end. This is the final time. And I wasn't sure at the beginning of the year how I would feel at this point, if I would be second guessing my decision or thinking that I made a, a bad choice and calling it quits in, on the tournaments. But honestly, I, I feel 
very calm and comfortable about it. Again, I want to go out strong, but I know that I'm still going to be around. I've, I've been doing it for a long time, and it's easy to look back over the years and think, man, I wish I'd have done this at this event, or I wish I would have made adjusted just a little bit quicker here, or started in this spot instead of that spot. I mean, I can do that over and over again. It's so easy after an event's over to figure out what you did wrong. The key is that over the years, I've always tried to not do the same things wrong twice, not make mistakes twice, and always try to be prepared and, and be better. And, and I feel good about that. So I don't have any regrets. I don't have any anything about this season or anything like that that I would have done differently at the time. So main goal this week, sit back, enjoy it, take it all in, and just make it special. So we made a, made a move, you know, I spent the first half of the day kind of fishing offshore looking for smallmouths and you know, some of the areas are a little bit muddy. We had a huge blow and a big rain, a bunch of storms come through right beforehand and uh, man, I, out of all that I never even had a bite out there. I saw, I saw one big smallmouth follow in my jerkbait out there and that's, that's it. So I got to have something that I can count on getting some bites here, you know, in this, in this tournament. We want to make sure we catch enough fish to be solid in the red crest. I mean, I think the weight, the place to win is definitely hunting around out there, but you know, I, I've got to make sure that I can find some fish too. So I'm sure that there's got to be some fish out there everywhere. There's not a huge population like there is a lot of other places. It's a little bit better one, I think. So, and that's what this place is known for right here. And, uh, you know, I mean, I'm up here in, in three, four foot of water and there's a walleye. And he going in the box. The largemouth are a lot more predictable, but they're not as big. And right now, you know, we're, we're on the, the tail end of a high water cycle where Lake Huron has been really dropping. I mean, it's dropped over 18 inches this season alone. So losing 18 inches of water in that shallow, flat Saginaw Bay around all those reeds and cattails and cover, it just makes it very hard to get around and it makes it fish small. So it's gonna be a challenging event. I mean, this one, I have no idea how it's gonna shake out. There was a load of large mouth here before. Got it. They're still there. It's not big ones. You're gonna have to have, you know, 14 or 15 pounds a day to, to do, oh, he come off, to do good here. And I just have not found that yet, so. Oh, mouth. <laughs> Biggin'. That's the right kind. Look at there. God. Oh, he come off. That's what we're looking for right there. God, I don't want to throw any more. Need to though. Just to see how many's around. God, dude. Finally. Not a giant, but. There had to be some some place, somewhere, somehow. Look at that little football right there. But the old thunder cricket. It's hard to not throw. They're here. Isn't that crazy? Look at them. A whole bunch with them too. A whole bunch with them. This is a little guy, but and we found something finally. 
Mr. Browns, time to move. I finally got a smallmouth bite, and it was a pretty dang good one. And then immediately right after that, almost a cast or two later, I caught a small one. Then I caught another, you know, nice one, and there was like 10 of them with it. So I knew I'd found a spot that, that may have some potential to it. But I know how these fish move. I mean, they're just because you find them there one day doesn't mean they're going to be there the next. But at least it's something. Dinner. <laughs> Thunder walleye. Was first just coming up and fishing through the federation we came over here and fished a few times and then the water was high again and the bay was dirty all the time you know it's pre-zebra muscle and there was a lot of milfoil and cattails and things like that and we won a federation tournament once flipping five eighths ounce black and blue jig just punching i mean that was before we had braid or anything like that god we had one earlier in the year it was real bright out and I was I was catching largemouth out in the main lake off of Millfall clumps with a spinnerbait. I just drove by this dark spot out there and I thought, man, that's kind of weird. And it was it was further up north there by Al Gray and I threw a spinnerbait over the top of it and caught a big smallmouth. And, and man, I called all my whole limit and won the tournament in, in like 30 minutes on smallmouth, which we just never even fished for them back then. So just a totally different time frame. To be honest with you, the, the last time that I fished here until I came over here and pre-fished was in 1992 and I filmed a, a Bass Pro Shop spinnerbait video at that time because I mean I knew the smallmouth fishing was real good. It was first of June, the wind was blowing, but I caught some big smallmouth off the breakwater, you know, just burning that spinnerbait across that wind-blown point there and that video is still out there today. I mean, they, you can still look it up, but it uh, brings back a lot of memories, you know, coming here then, but I just haven't fished it. So a lot of people might look at me as a favorite going into this event, but we just don't come over here. I spent a good bit of time fishing for largemouth, and I've spent a lot of time fishing for smallmouth the last two days really didn't find much you know i caught a couple smallmouth caught a couple good ones so i'm hoping that that may pan out for me there but i don't really know what to expect i know it's going to be real tough this is going to be a really challenging tournament and with everything on the line it's red crest points it's angler of the year it's you know heavy hitters there's so much on the line for so many guys that the stress level is, is really high so i know it is for me i i really don't know how it's gonna go, you know? I mean, I've got a handful of bites, but it's tough. This lake is fishing really, really small just because of that super low water and the lack of grass and habitat for them to be in. So not really sure how it's gonna go, but we're gonna go out there and give it everything we got. You can't win if you don't make the knockout round. So the first and foremost, you know, I gotta have two good days, make that knockout round. From there, anything can happen. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna crank, I'm gonna jerk, I'm gonna swim jig, I'm gonna throw a thunder cricket, I'm gonna throw a drop shot, I'm gonna throw a tube, give a little bit of everything to them out there and hopefully grind out a, a good bag each day. So we're getting ready to take off for the first day here at Saginaw Bay, the last tournament for me of the regular season. So it's, it just really hadn't sank in still at this point. You know, I want to enjoy it. It's been so tough out there in practice that I think the stress of just trying to find, you know, areas to fish or patterns and things like that has kind of overshadowed me thinking about anything like that. So, and it will be that today. I mean, today is going to be tough overall for sure. You know, I've done this so many times that you just kind of get in that same routine and, th and that's kind of where I'm at now, you know. I mean, I have, everybody keeps telling me, hey, uh, you know, does it feel different? Does it look different? Does it seem different? But really, right now, it's not. I guess you force yourself into that game mode and just go. I 
just don't have any history here. I don't have any expectations, so I've not put that kind of pressure on myself to say, hey, you've got to win here. I'd like to. Obviously, that's the game plan. That is my goal. That's what I push for. That's what I work towards every single event. But my expectations are not like it would be if this was Lake St. Clair. Here, it's a little bit different, so maybe that helps with a little bit of that pressure. Be nice to show up to a place where you're just gonna go out there and just whack them. It, it's been hard here and you know, we're gonna give it everything we got. I mean, I truly don't know that I can even catch one here. The way these fish have been in practice, it's been that much of a struggle. Our next angler out is from Kalamazoo, Michigan. He's a multi-time cup champion. Let's give it up for one of the greatest in the sport, D.B.D. Kevin Van Dam. Going out today, I was pretty nervous after my practice. I didn't have a lot found, and you know, fortunately, I got onto a group of them right off the bat and got off to a good start. That really helped me relax, enjoy the day. You know, it's my last event of the season here in Saginaw. Got a good start. Got to make the knockout round, but has allowed me to practice. You know, I spent a lot of time just trying to find more similar areas and, you know, covered a lot of stuff. Ran to some stuff that I way out because it was so flat, you know, way out by the islands in the mouth there and, and checked it and just pretty much was a bust. I found one little area that I got a few bites in that just looked good in practice and I didn't really see anything. So I found another spot and I was able to save all of my other areas that I'd fished in practice and, and caught fish out of. So it's gonna be a, a long week and it's, it's gonna be a grind, but hopefully we can you know, have another good day in the qualifying round and you know make that knockout round. From there on, man, anything can happen. It's, it's gonna be a shootout. All in all, I thought the fishing for the field was a lot better than I really expected. I didn't see the weights being that high after what I what I saw. I thought it was really tough to catch, you know, two pounders in practice. And overall, man, the field really caught them well today. So it's a, just another tournament. I get in tournament mode, but in the end, I'm really just trying to soak up this last event. It's it's like surreal to me. It hasn't sank in. I just really, you know, want to enjoy this. It seems stranger to me, the other guys around me, my competitors, the way they're acting than the way I'm acting. It's pretty weird. So it's going to be a fun week all in all though, and we'll see how it shakes out. Another day out here on Saginaw Bay. First day, you know, ended up having a solid day, so that, that's real critical to get off to a good start. Today, I just, you know, need to be able to catch enough fish to make that knockout round. Hopefully, we can do that. Got a lot of options, but still, a lot of uncertainty. You know, we're gonna have a lot of wind today. Out here, you just never know. I mean, the wind can blow from a different direction, and muddy areas up, and things like that changes the current fish move around a lot. So hopefully we can put some things together and you know, get in that knockout round from there. We're gonna have more changes in the weather and, and things like that. It's just great to be here, you know, in my home state for my final event. I'm trying to enjoy it, soak it all in. It just gets more emotional every every day, you know, just thinking that, hey, this is it, you know, and you don't want it to be your last day. So hopefully we can go out there and have a good day and, and keep fishing and, and make it through the weekend. The GOAT, the greatest of all time, a seven-time Bassmaster Angler of the Year, four-time Classic Champion, and multi-time Major League Fishing Cup Champion. Well, let's give it up for Kevin Van Dam. Yeah. 
Day two's in the books, man. Another solid day here. I think I ended up the round in second place. So got to spend two periods again practicing, found quite a few large mouth and things like that. But just, I've got this one area with the small mouth in it. And today a lot of them were small, but I did catch a four or something there. And I found another little corner that's got a school of big ones on it. So I know the winning fish are there. If I can manage this and you know, hopefully there's not any other people fishing it or anything in the knockout round, we'll, we'll just see. Man, fingers crossed. I'm super excited and really glad to be extending my season for at least one more day, you know? You know, I really, really want to win. Gosh, how monumental, how epic would it be to be able to, to be able to put it all together? I know it's going to be a challenge. Greg Vincent, you know, I'm sure he he laid off and you know, Wheeler. There's some other guys that are definitely catching them and playing the strategy mode, but I think we're gonna have a chance. You know, I know I'm around the right kind of fish. I've tried to put a few other things together and that's all you can ask for. I'm gonna give it everything I got and play the cards the, the best way that I know how. I mean, I've done this a really long time. I know what to expect and just try to finish it out strong. So, I mean, today was a lot of fun. I really got to savor the time and it is. When you got the pressure off like that, you know, after the first period, it, it just, I was super relieved. You know, you stay the course and keep grinding, have a positive attitude and good things happen. And that's how the day was. And you know, I'm gonna do it again the next day. And hopefully we're here on Sunday for the championship round because that's all you can ask for. I'm gonna give it everything I got. If I get a chance, anything can happen in this event. But right now, my confidence level is pretty dang high. So we made it to the knockout round, you know, that was a huge goal coming in here. Just, you know, it's the last event. <laughs> you want to, uh, man, you want to fish every day, right? I want to fish to the end. I want to have a chance to win. Um, I think I'm, I put myself in that position. A lot of unknowns today, you know, just with the weather, with the storms that came through last night, if it's going to change the fishing, it's all these things, you, you variables, but in the end, you know, you got to go out there and make it happen. You know, I'm looking forward to having the opportunity, but, you know, big part of it is already accomplished. You know, I, I really wanted to come into this event and make sure that I was locked into red crests and heavy hitters. That's done. So now, eye on the prize. It's, it's all about fishing tomorrow and taking it home. And, and I know, you know, this is, this is gonna be the best opportunity that I've had all season to do that. Hopefully we can make it happen. You just never know, but I feel really good about this one. At this point in your home state, on your last event of the Bass Pro Tour final season, my last event of the regular season for me, to be able to have a chance to even be in position to win is huge. It's like a dream. You couldn't script it any better, but I can promise you there's 39 other guys out here that, that want that trophy just as bad as I do. It's going to be a battle. We're going to have to fight for it. A multi-time angler of the year. Give it up for KVD, Kevin Van Dam. pounds four pounds five ounces or five <laughs> that's the one five pounds five pounds two ounces I have two that's what we want. Look at, I mean, that fish ain't that long ago spawned.
four pounds, three ounces. <laughs> Making magic. Just finished up the knockout round and man, what a day. Couldn't script it any better and I'm leading the tournament. It's my last Bass Pro Tour event. It's the last one of the season here in my home state at Saginaw Bay. I've got a lot of family here, you know, a lot of pressure to do well this week and I couldn't be in a better spot. I've got a little bit of a lead over Dakota Ebear, one of my, you know, Strike King Lou's teammates, great young man, unbelievable fisherman. And I can tell you the other nine guys are gonna give it everything they got to, but pretty special to be able to do this and, and then have the King of Bass TV crew here following it all, all week long. I mean, they've been following me all season long, putting the work in, just showcasing what it's like. And it has been, that kind of year for me. I mean, it's, I've had some highs and some lows, a lot of emotion and things like that. I'm right now. I'm just I'm super stoked to be in this spot. Got my family here. A lot of a lot of my nieces and nephews, my wife, both of my sons. You know, Jackson flew in from Nashville, so I'm I'm in just an awesome mood tomorrow. It's going to be a lot more challenging, you know. I mean, I'm sure the emotion will hit me then, and hopefully we can just close this thing out. I mean, I just couldn't script it any better. I just got to finish the deal, so. Really, really special. So thankful for all the support all season long and uh, just everything that I have by all the people that are around me to make me look awesome when in hindsight, a lot of days that it's just tough. You know, you, you're not always, it's hard to smile all the time when, when you have a tough day and things like that. It makes it, you know, days like today make it look easy, but it's, it's really not. It's so hard to live this lifestyle. I've done it for 33 years. My family has sacrificed a lot, you know, my wife, is a rock star. She's the reason that I'm here, but she's a huge part of the success that I've had. She allows me to focus on fishing and does a lot of the other things around the business to keep me focused and be out there on the water. Same with my boys, you know, they've grown up around it. They were born on the road, on the tournament trail, and they've had to sacrifice a lot. So hopefully we can close this thing out. And it's just a one way that I can show them a little bit of the appreciation that I have for, for all the sacrifices they've made to allow me to follow my dreams and, and have this crazy career called a professional bass anchor. So it's championship day and man, it all comes down to this. So couldn't script it any better. Uh, it's just, you know, you want to go out strong and God, yesterday knockout round was just, it was just uh, so good to begin with. And this morning, man, I, you just never know. I mean, just the uncertainty and it's a part of the thrill in competitive fishing is you just, after practice, after competition, you know, day to day, changing conditions, mother nature, other anglers, just variables you just that are out of your control, you, you just can't foresee it. That unknown is what makes it real special when it all comes together. So, man, I'm just hoping for a great day. Just incredible amount of support from my family and just tons of texts. My phone has just been blowing up and it's super humbling to have that kind of outreach on my final event, final day. Being in this position is making it a lot easier, <laughs> believe it or not. I mean, if I'd had a tough tournament this week, it, I don't know what shape I'd be in or anything like that. So this is making it, it's smoothing it out, but I just, I can't thank everyone enough for everything they've done for me, all the support, all the, you know, the well wishes, all the things over the years, but especially here last minute. You see who your real close friends and family really are. Yeah, this has been a week where I've really had to, you know, manage the fish and my fishing. And to this point, I've done it real well. You just, you never know. We've got a lot of wind today, different direction. It's gonna change things up for sure. So hopefully I, you know, I can battle through it and figure it out, you know, I mean, you say, hey, you know, hey, he's a closer. Well, it's because the conditions have lined up. It's easy to make the right decisions in a lot of cases. Saginaw Bay is a different animal. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. I'm cautiously optimistic. I could have never dreamed it, planned it. I never expected it. You would write it 
if you could. You know, I mean, it's, it's like a movie. It's surreal. And just to be in that position, to be in this spot right now, it's what you want. It's what you live for. It's what you work for. It's what you fight for. I'm going to be bringing it to the end. From Kalamazoo, Michigan, representing Bass Pro Shops, Nitro, and Strike King, known as one of the greatest of all time, Kevin Van Dam! Five ounces. That's what we gotta have is more of those. Tides come and I wait as we move closer to the mass. Times like these, they come and go. So let this feeling grow. Finally, see. Well, it's over. You know, I mean, what a day. You know, been through all the drama. I've cried all the tears. I've had a lot of the emotion. You know, when I was riding in today, after it was over, lines out, man, I just, I did, I absolutely cried tears of joy. Just, I, I wasn't mad. I really wanted to win today. I wasn't sad. I wasn't, it wasn't anything, but it's just like, man, I gave it everything I got. And uh, how fitting for my final day of the Bass Pro Tour of my tournament career that it's blowing 20 mile an hour and five foot waves and it's raining sideways. That's Mother Nature getting back at me for all those times that I got her. So, you know, just a special week all around. Please put your hands together. He finishes up in second. The GOAT, the greatest of all time, KBG! Kevin, 33 years ago, 29 wins. Man, oh man, it's, it's a changing of guard, but man, what a, what a day you had. Yeah, um, you know, it's, uh, gosh, man, thanks so much, everybody, for being here. I mean, I, I was trying to not choke up too quick. I knew it was going to happen. You know, it's, uh, man, I've had such a great time, and uh, I, I get so much support, have, have had for so many years, I've got a ton of family here, friends and things like that that traveled to come and watch. And man, you couldn't script the week much better the way it was going. I, I really didn't think that I'd have a very good tournament this week at the start of it. And then as it unfolded, I'm like, man, I got a chance to win this thing. And uh, But you know, I've, I've had a great week. And but the biggest thing with it being my last season on tour, I really wanted to win. but. You know, I wanted to really enjoy it too as well, and I, I really did this week. I, you know, today, Mother Nature beat me. I mean, beat me bad out there. It was just one of those days that you just can't do a lot with. I, I had a great week up to this point, and with that wind switched out of the east, it just it just blistered the water that I'd been catching the fish in. I had to kind of change up and fish for largemouth, and one day doesn't define who you are or, or what you've done, and uh, again, 33 years, I never dreamed as a kid that I would ever uh, be a professional angler. I just worked hard, uh, put my mind to it. I loved fishing and it turned into a career. And man, what a, what a ride it's been. My wife, Sherry, you know, bless her heart. She puts up with a lot for me. And uh, in the very beginning, before we even got married, 
she knew what she was getting into and she still married me. You know, over the years, she's been just so instrumental in everything that I do. I mean, she's my business manager. She does everything uh, top to bottom, start to finish, make sure that, you know, everything from having, making sure my appearance is good and your image and your brand and things like that. She's always looking out for everything, but she doesn't like to be in the spotlight at all. She likes to, doesn't like to be on camera, doesn't like to be interviewed. Uh, but she's always there and she's always done it and I, I could not have had all the success that I've had without her support. And then our two boys, Jackson and Nicholas, both those boys and my wife have put up with a lot and they've sacrificed a lot for me to be able to follow my dreams over the years and just make a living at what I love to do. And it, it's been awesome. And you know, even though I'm retiring from competitive fishing, I'm really not retiring. You know, I'm, I've, I've got a, another phase, I've got another calling. We've, you know, we, we do a lot with our foundation for conservation, kids fishing, uh, youth initiatives and stocking programs, habitat programs, things like that. We, we want to work on a lot of that, but I also love, I love teaching people to catch fish. You know, I mean, the stories that I get about the equipment and things that, that I get to work on and develop and how it helps people fish. That's something that I love to do. I'm going to continue to keep doing that. So you'll see me around a lot. And actually, I'm qualified for heavy hitters and red crest. So I get a couple of tournaments next year. But I just can't thank all the fans enough so much for, uh, I mean, so much for you to be here in this weather today. I mean, as I was out there, I'm like, what a fitting day for my final day for Mother Nature to pay me back for all those years out there with, you know, I'm out there standing in four and five foot waves and driving rain and, uh, and I smiled the whole way. And, and honestly, after the tournament was over, I was running back in, I had my glasses on, I got my cameraman and my official with me and it's four and five footers again, you know, and uh, I, I, was, I was crying and um, it wasn't, it wasn't, that I was mad or sad or anything like that. It was just sheer joy, just happiness, you know, for, for everything that I've experienced and everything that I've had. So I, again, I've got, I've got a ton of family here. I have to thank them for all the support and so much they've done over the years. Um, you know, we're a fishing family. My brother owns DNR Sports over there in Kalamazoo and my mom and dad got them started there and they're right here front and center. They, they've been, uh, they've been huge for me uh, from the beginning. My dad used to, you know, right in the very beginning, he used to travel with me and practice when we could do that. And, uh, you know, they got me started, you know, in this in this crazy profession to begin with or, or, or supported me when a lot of people said, what in the world do you think you're doing trying to, you know, be a professional bass fisherman? So they did that and uh, I could have not done it without them. And just a really special day for uh, a lot of memories that I've had. So I just, again, thanks so much for everything that you've all, all of you have done for me. I mean, all my fans, my family, my sponsors, it's just, uh, it's been an incredible ride and it's not over yet. Let's give it up for 33 years, 29 wins, 120.